Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Ultimate Iron Man Progress series. Uh, as we mentioned last episode, our main goals at the minute are the requirements for the Song of the Elves quest. So, what we're going to do this episode, with a little bit of questing to start off with and a little few detours along the way, our goal is going to be to hit up Tithe Farm and get at least 71 farming. If I can stomach it, then I'll go further. But knowing me, 71 will probably be the stopping point for that. Once we've done that, we should be set up effectively to thieve from master farmers to get higher tier seeds. However, with our thieving level at the minute, it's not going to be a nice time. So our second goal of the episode will be to get a higher thieving level. I'm thinking maybe 75, 80. And that should polish us off quite well and lead us into being able to do master farmers with very minimal food needed. With that said, in the background, you will see us flinching the moss giant from roving elves to death. Uh, now, the little guide I was looking at for this quest said to have a bit of melee stats, but I thought if I'm gonna be flinching, then it should be okay. Towards the end of the fight, uh, I just started face tanking it. So I thought, you know, May as well. I've got a full inventory of food here that I've not used, so we just face tanked it. We got it done pretty easily. Uh, I initially thought it was going to be a bit traumatic considering we had uh, our items on the floor because we had to death pile to get in, but it wasn't too bad at all. Got our items back, then came and finished the quest, picked up the bow. Uh, I won't be using it really. Uh, it'll be going in the bag for later on as a crystal weapon seed while we do the quest. It'll come in use eventually, but I don't think we'll use it until after Song of the Elves. Uh, we start in Morning's End Part 1, but some of the items needed for the quest is magic logs. Uh, so magic logs, some of the ways that we can get them, one would be from the nature implings in Puro Puro. I think it's quite a high drop rate for them. I don't, it's not too bad, which is why we went for it. So we went and caught a couple before opening them just in hopes that we might get lucky and not have to train our wood cutting up just yet. We will probably be doing it for song, well before Song of the Elves because Desert Treasure we need uh, 75 to cut the 12 magic logs anyway. Uh, but as you can see luckily uh, RNG striketh again and we got it on the first one. So that was nice. And with those two quests out of the way, we are now set to clear our inventory and get ourselves started on Tithe Farm. Tithe Farm's treated me well in the past. I've really enjoyed it in the league over Christmas this year. Got used to doing quite a lot there, but again, you only had to farm about 20 fruits per time there, so it's not going to be that nice. Uh, you'll see the tiles change a lot during this, but, you know, it took us two three days in total of just doing tithe farm uh wasn't too efficient with it sometimes i just did 16 and just chilled out uh the thing with these grinds that you'll find is i don't really like to go full efficiency if something is supposed to be 55k xp an hour chances are i'm getting about 25 uh things get done fast but if you're gonna burn out what's the point like i don't want to get to song of the hours and then burn out for months so yeah, hopefully. This shouldn't take us too long. We'll make a little bit of montage unless we get distracted in the middle. And yeah, I'll see you on the other side.
So welcome back. As I said before, that did cost us a few days of time, but all in all, wasn't the worst grind we're going to do. Uh, we did buy the full farmer's outfit about halfway through. We also bought the auto weed and the seed box. Now we will come back one day for the herb sack. However, you do need 58 or 56 or 58 uh, herb lore to actually buy it and use it. So we'll come back for that when we're mid herb lore grind, more than likely. Um, or maybe not, because I don't know whether you can store it anywhere. So it might just be left there. I'm sure we'll manage without it. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to sort out our bag by reverting this crystal bow. Uh, get rid of our tackle box just so we have that extra inventory space because our next grind is going to require a lot of our actual inventory. Because what we're going to be doing now is we're going to go and buy ourselves about a thousand pineapples. Probably more, probably about 1500 pineapples, something like that. Uh, because we're going to fill up our tool leprechaun with ultra compost. So we will go around the game and just spend a day or so making ultra compost all around, thieving some master farmer in between, a little bit of mining some volcanic ash and just make as many ultra compost as we can. That way we don't have to worry about it when we're actually coming to planting and harvesting herbs. So we will get that done. We'll store our graceful away and then, yeah, we'll do a little bit of thieving while we are in between making all of our compost. So same method as before, well, without dying to the spider this time. We're going to buy and note a shit ton of pineapples and then turn them all into compost. Uh, before that, we do want to complete the RD medium diary before we start thieving. So we came and picked ourselves up some myth grapples uh, with absolutely no help whatsoever. Um, but while we had them, we knocked them all out. So here is the RD task, the Falador task, the Karamja task, the Lumbridge and Draenor task, the Kandarin task, And this one's not a task, but it is very, very useful for the clue step that's up here when we do medium clues. Uh, so we stuck this one on too. We then unlocked the balloon transport to Castle Wars for that task. Always annoying, but worthwhile getting done. Completed Tower of Life so we could build, make the sword chick for the diary. Whatever you'd say. Well, we did that one anyway. And that was our last task for the medium diary. Uh, unlike last time, we actually do get a little bit of time to decide what we're going to put it on to. But, you know, it, it's a it's a diary reward. We're obviously going to put it on her blog. You'd, uh, you'd be mad not to. Also mind, about 2k volcanic ash. Uh, we'll come back eventually for some more ash. But for now, I just wanted enough to make the ultra compost. Uh, we'll come back eventually because I'd like to use uh, compost potions, which is Haralanda and Volcanic Ash. Uh, I like to use them to make my Ultra Compost in the future, so I'll be doing a lot of them with the Herb Law Grind. And Harvesting This Mushroom actually gave us our first Hispari Seed, which was actually a lot bigger than you'd think a Hispari Seed is, because this now gives us a way to Death Bank. So when it comes to doing any of the activities we've got going, we can suicide our entire inventory, everything that we need into Hespori and have all the space that we need. So when it comes to smithing and we need like 25 spots to make five plate bodies, there's no way of us doing that in our current setup. So we can dump everything inside of Hispari uh, once it's grown and... Yeah, as long as we don't die or AFK and die to a spider or something stupid, we should be golden. So about a day between this clip and the last one, we're up to about 630 uh, ultra compost. We've still got quite a bit of pineapples and stuff left to go. Taking a break from thieving in between ultra compost runs. We've got a fair bit of herbs already. But what we're going to do is we're going to use up our planks and oak planks. Uh, and I thought the best way for us to do it, as you've probably seen in the series so far, I do tend to make every stash unit 
while I'm going doing the clue, but I just thought, why not go around and build the units itself? That way I'm never going to forget the nails, which I tend to do like 90% of the time. So I'm just going to go and build every single stash unit that there is for easy and medium and beginner. So with all the easies done, uh, we then got quite a few planks left to actually use up. So we started off by trying to do it in a house, but it's just, it's like a fifth of the XP that you get from doing mahogany homes. So there's not really, we may as well have dropped them instead of using them like this. So we moved on to actually doing mahogany homes instead. Not great XP, but it gives us a foot in the door to construction later on. Once you see this, you'll never unsee it. You can't tell me that that house is, is not supposed to look like that. I'll never unsee it. So with all the normal planks used up, we came and built all of the medium stash units. Now we didn't fill any of them, we just built the units themselves. So we will still need to get the items when it comes to it, but may as well build them so we don't have to go and make planks and use 10 teleports. So we put our stuff back in the looting bag, just a couple of the bits. And this is where we are going to be stationed up now for... It's probably going to take us about two days, three days maybe, of uh, foot pedaling our nights. Ultimately, we want to go for maybe about two mil, uh, just in straight cash. But we are aiming for level 80, so we'll, we'll see where we end up getting to there. Uh, so I do use a little method with the foot pedal where you put yourself or you put your inventory into like the modern view. Uh, and then if you place something on the escape key, because my uh, key to open the inventory is escape, place something on there. I've got a little little turtle. I'll pop a picture up on screen. Uh, I just put that on the escape key and it opens and closes it. That way you just spam the inventory slot where the pouches are. And as long as that is over the adding nights, you'll continuously be opening and you can just pickpocket for the full six hours then. Took a break to do some iron ore superheating and smithing because I cannot stay focused on one task for very long. Uh, and got ourselves 40 smithing, uh, which is the requirement for gold ore. Um, I was originally planning to do gold ore. It would cost about 1.5 mil, I think, to get to 60 with gold ore. Uh, rather than the 700k it would have done with iron uh, but ultimately we decided to go with iron anyway just because I'm impatient and wanted the grind done a lot sooner and by sooner I know gold ore would have been quicker but it would have meant we had to spend a lot more time at RD nights so it doesn't make sense but it does make sense you get me you do get me though you get me you do get me is of paramount importance that you get me you get me you have me got good Can't you guess a 76, did you just say? 73, I'll risk it for you. <laughs> Ran out of our lobsters on our fishing grind, so came and got 50 points at Temporos uh, to get a few little fishies just to help us on our way. 50 should get us more than enough to get us all the way up to 80 and then enough to do some master farmers at least. Here is 74 thieving, 75 thieving, 70 wood cutting. I know, I got distracted again. 77th even, don't know where 76 went, 78, 79, 72 cooking from our food for our thieving, and finally coming in here with level 80 thieving. Uh, it's been a good few days a thieving just to get up to this point whenever we get it, there it is. Uh, we're going to box off the pickpocket a hero, pickpocket a gnome, steal from this stall, that stall, the other stall. Uh, just before we move on to our next grind. So I'll quickly show us that. And with them out of the way, uh, we did actually make just under 2 mil, which we're now going to spend for our next grind. So we're going to hop and buy about 7,500 nature moves to start with, as that's all the money we've got at the minute. Uh, we'll make a bit back from our smithing method, which I'll show you in just a second. But let's get this bar and see how much we end up with here so that's the mall bar we ended up with just under 200k it's by a couple of law runes and stuff so literally going to be left with pennies uh but that's our 7.5k nature's bot that should get us quite a high magic level just from what we're about to do and should get us all the way to 60 hopefully 
Uh, so let's go and buy ourselves a pickaxe and then I'll show you our mining. So this is where we're going to do our mining down here in the Falador Mines. Uh, there's a little anvil over towards the west of where we're currently stood. So we're going to mine these two iron ores, superheat the entire inventory, walk over, going to smith them into plate bodies, going to out the plate bodies on the way back and rinse and repeat for seven and a half thousand times. Uh, it's going to be a lot more click intensive than this episode. It's like Tithe Farm on steroids. So I'm hoping even though it's going to be click intensive, we can just kind of power through it. Uh, I don't see it being all that bad. So hopefully this will be done within one or two days, probably two to three days. Uh, once we've done this, our goals for the next episode will be to at least hit 70 smithing. Mining will probably lag behind as we're going to stop once we hit 60 smithing. Uh, we'll move on to Blast Furnace. And once that's done, we're going to move on to Mahogany Homes and 70 Construction, which is another one that I am dreading. Uh, but with all that said, that is a lot of content packed into today's episode. I know I promised last week that this one would be out sooner, but we got distracted with, well, these grinds that you're seeing right now. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed the next one should have a lot of content packed into it. It might take longer than the normal week. These episodes have been coming out so far just to get the content packed in that we need to is it's obviously farming herbs is a lot slower than power mining iron. So with all that said, thank you so, so much for watching. Um, stick around again for a little blender preview of what we'll be doing next week, even though I've already just told you. Please like, subscribe, send me a messaging game, come say hello, you know, whatever you want to do. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, have a great rest of your day. Uh, I'll see you again in the next one. Bye. Have I just teleported to... Oh, this is going to be annoying.